On this video, I will demonstrate the page layout capabilities of Fat Paint. And I'll start by adding text object. And big in the middle. And I'm going to add image object. And I'm going to add clip art. And lastly, I want to add here a new vector drawing right here. And I'm going to go here, make myself a nice little something. That's it. Okay. So, these are the graphical objects supported by Fat Paint. The only one missing here is the panel, but we don't need that for now. Okay, and so you can arrange objects on the page as you wish. And to help you with that, we can create here a guide. So, see here the guide? So, we can you know, it helps us position our objects alongside this guide. And we can go here to the guide, and we can now move it around. And the guide, you see here, you can give it multiple lines. You can make it something like this. So you could actually be, you know, doing something like this with it. And when you move, see, it will move together with it. So this guide thing is pretty powerful and you can also here add orthogonal points and make it as a matrix. So you can, you know, work on the matrix like this. Okay. And uh, let me just delete the guide again. And you can also, instead of using guides, you can go up here and use a grid. And you can set here how big you want the grid to be. Now the objects are going to snap to the grids. This is pretty useful when you are designing your page. Okay, so let me just turn off the grid. Okay, so here you have all the different objects on this page, and we can we can actually create more pages. If we say here, add new page, you see here that the page panel will be become visible. You can you know hide it here. On this page, we can have other stuff. We can have, for example, another image and this book cover here. So this is now on page two. And here you see all the different pages once again. And you can move objects around to different pages. For example, if you go here, you see here which page the object is on. You can just say here page two, and you will be moved to page two. 
you can place the object in there. So back to page one. So this is how we work with multiple pages. And you can save all this. If you go to pages, you can say here, save as image. You'll be able to save all these pages as individual images or just pick just the page you want to save. Okay. One other thing you can do here is you can move objects inside an each other like this. See, now it's inside this book. And you can move this other one, this one inside as well. When they are inside, I can now move them all together just by moving on the book image, this one here. And another cool thing you can do here is I can set here the blend modes here. I can, for example, say here screen, blend mode, or for example, erase, erase. Or even I can say here alpha. So the, if I say it as alpha, it would be like you can use the book cover as textures. Actually, the reason that I have all those those book covers is because they make really good textures. And I can especially do this with, if I, you know, instead of using the, the this blend mode on, on, on this object here, let me just delete it for now. Instead, I'm going to use the blend mode with the text so that the text would be like having this really nice texture to it. See, and I can move it around. I can actually take my selection tool and copy this into a new object. And I can hide the other one here. So I'll just have here my my text with some nice textures from the book cover and I can even give it some some shadow to make it look really cool now I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna delete this object I'm gonna go back to this one turn it on what I want to do is, I want to give it another texture, I just say here change image And I can give it some other text. This one. I imagine that this will look pretty cool inside the mug. Something like that. And I can do the same thing again as before using the selection tool here. So the selection tool is really powerful. And we have it. And as before, we can go to the effects here and add our shadow from before. And you can also go here. Here's the shadow. You can click on it or here. You can open the, sh the panel. You can make a little bit bigger shadow that and we can even go here to the color and perhaps add a little bit of saturation a little bit more perhaps a little bit contrast so let's see how this will look on on the mark here looks pretty cool Alright, 